Ghana and Norway have pledged to step up their ties of cooperation. When President Ekufuado and Prime Minister Erna Solberg addressed a joint conference in Norway, the two leaders were upbeat that increasing trade relations was the way to go for mutual benefit. As Europe's northernmost country, Norway is famed for its mountains and spectacular coastline and her seafaring power history. Norway enjoys one of the world's highest standards of living, largely due to prudent management of her offshore oil and gas resources discovered in the 1960s, and this experience Ghana wants to tap into. President Ekufado was grateful to the Norwegian Prime Minister and her government for their appreciable support to Ghana through various interventions, such as the Oil for Development Program, which has been running successfully for more than a decade. The Fish for Development Initiative, signed by the two countries in May 2019, is also another move yielding positive impact. The relations, as I said, that are being developed between our two countries are ones that we want to continue to nurture. A very major investment is about to be made in our economy by an important Norwegian company, Arca, in our petroleum sector, and which is going to have a big impact on the future development of the Ghanaian economy and industry. And it is also going to mean that a Norwegian company like ACA is going to be in a very in, prominent role in the development of our national economy. So it provides all of these are reasons why it's important that uh, visits such as the one I'm undertaking to continue to go forward. The Norwegian Prime Minister commended President Kufado for his work as co-chair of the eminent advocate for the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Norway and Ghana have had a close relations for many decades. These last years we have seen a rapid and very positive development, not only in our political dialogue, but also in travel, cooperation uh, between our educational institutions, trade and in investments. More than 50 Norwegian companies are present in Ghana, and investments are steadily increasing. And Ghana has certainly become one of our closest partners, not only Africa, but also on a global level. So finally, I would like to commend President Akufuadu Adu for his work and vision for his country. A Ghana beyond aid. This is a vision that resonates with my government's emphasis on the role of private investments in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Earlier in the day, President Tekufado called on Madame Tony Troing, the current president of the Stoughton, the Supreme Legislature of Norway. Haken, the Crown Prince of Norway, who assumed the role of regent last December, also hosted the president to an official lunch at the Royal Palace.